him for a minute. Morning, everybody. It's Jason, Hollis Farms. I didn't get to go to the woods this morning. Got a few things uh, that I got to do early today, and then I'm going to get Cody. I think I might get him a little early from school today and see if me and him can go hunting. So get all my stuff rounded up where we can get him and get, uh, get Cody in the woods. So and then we'll go hunting this afternoon. If y'all like this stuff, subscribe to us and uh, hit that notification bell up there. So if I get any, anything interesting between now and the time uh, I get Cody, I'll video it. But if not, I'll catch y'all when we get Cody out of school and head to the woods. It's a beautiful day today. Hate to not be in the woods. All right, y'all, so I made it. Got everything done that uh, I had to do this morning. Nothing nothing major, just to, every once in a while. Had to do a few things. So before I forget, let's get to our Bible verse today. Still on the word fear. A lot of, lot of fear in the Bible. <laughs> I'm ready, not ready to get to another word, but I want to keep digging on this. And when we get done with that, we'll move to something else. But we are in Galatians chapter 4, verse 11. Short verse, but hits pretty hard. All right, Galatians chapter 4, verse 11. I fear for you that per I fear for you that perhaps I have labored labored over you in vain. That's a that's a good chapter to read, which all of them are, and I know I say that every day, but it, a lot of these verses that I just pick a word out, it's hard to uh just get it in that verse. You know, like John 3:16 or a lot of these so-called popular verses. But, you know, a lot of times you just take that verse and then read the whole chapter and you, you get get the idea about the whole thing. But anyway. All right, so I got Cody picked up from school. He come in, run in the house, grab a snack. We're finna run up here and get all our stuff together and head on in. It's warm, but so they probably move right close to dark. We're going to ease in and see if we can do any good. Can't kill them at the house. All right, y'all, we are locked and loaded. It's hot. We both sitting there in tennis shoes. I like wearing them because it helps my back a lot. But it's hot. Maybe the first time I've ever deer hunted in tennis shoes. We got, uh, both got our binoculars on. We ain't got much. We got the little Ruger American 308. We're in the same stand that we've hunted in before. Me and Cody come in here the other night late and trimmed. Let's see if I can show y'all them limbs that were hanging across here. So we got a clear view now, better for shooting and videoing. This, uh, this wind changed on us about five times on the way in here. It's going to be tricky. It's about 68, 70 degrees. The wind ain't right. We got a bee in there buzzing around. But we deer hunting. Probably got about two and a half hours or so before dark. So maybe they'll start moving. It sure is hot, but we gotta go when we can go. They still gotta eat. We're fixing to deal with this uh, horse fly or whatever that's in there.
smiling on us. Crosshair steady, are you shaking? Whatever you do to get comfortable and then we'll then we'll take a shot, just figure it out. You got time, it ain't going nowhere. Is that pretty comfortable? Did you flip your sweet the safety off? I right, will get steady and then when you flip it off, get steady and just squeeze the trigger. Relax, whatever's comfortable, and when he turns sideways again, we'll get ready. since he's limping and all, whatever, he must have been fighting or something, I don't know what's That's a little old spike or something. All right, when he comes around the other side, maybe he'll come out this other side now. Okay. All right, when you get solid, just squeeze that trigger. sure it was a clean mess, but we're going to ease down here just to make sure things happen. All right, y'all, so clean mess on the deer. Uh, kind of knew it was, but uh, anyway, got Cody out of the house. I got to run back up here to the barn for a minute. He didn't want to do a post-shot interview. <laughs> He's pretty pissed. I said, look, buddy, I said, it happens. It happens to the best of us, and it will happen again. I promise if you go enough, it's going to happen. I told him back years ago when I was about his age, nearly 40 years ago, the stand used to be on back up east a little bit, and I remember it was either one morning or one afternoon, I shot seven times and didn't draw a hair. 
it happens that's a pretty long shot i don't know it's probably a hundred or better it's not far i just told him i said when you get out like that you just got to learn to keep that thing steady and i said there ain't ain't hardly we shot quite a bit he shot shoots his bow more than we shoot a gun but it's nothing like the the real thing you just kind of got to learn to deal with it and he'll get the hang of it but i said just gotta just like playing ball you strike out or make an error you gotta get back in there and go again until you figure it out things is gonna happen anyway i don't know how that what hurt that deer i don't know why he's limping i don't know if he's already been fighting or what but anyway he lost weight too we gotta we gotta try to make sure we get him but anyway about to call it a day appreciate y'all watching out of here